Hi, folks. Today we are going to talk about how we are deceived by G7 elites. They ignore the reason why the US dropped nuclear bombs on Japanese soil. If you know the truth, it turns out to be quite laughable that Japanese think Hiroshima is a kind of symbol of world peace. The reason is quite simple. At that time the US was desperate to end the war against Japan. They had already suffered tens of thousands of deaths in the battle against Japanese army forces. As you know, Japanese people were totally brainwashed by the government and they really believed the emperor was God. You might think that sounds ridiculous. But that's true. Like people in general believe the US is a democratic state, they had been educated to follow the emperor's order blindly since elementary school children. Even today people could get arrested, if they say something to humiliate the emperor. Japanese still celebrate the birthday of the wartime emperor as a national holiday. Japanese people at that time had been controlled by government propaganda and they thought surrender is out of the question. Like today's Ukraine, Japanese were going to fight to the last soldier. Japanese soldiers were so brainwashed that they would choose to die for the emperor rather than become prisoners of war. After the battles of Iwo Jima, Okinawa and Saron, Americans learned that Japanese were insane people who would care nothing about their own lives. And Japan was still planning to fight on the main islands after losing battles of the surrounding islands. If you were president of the US and knew the country would certainly lose tens of thousands of young soldiers by continuing the war, what would you do? Yes, they made the decision to drop nuclear bombs to end the war instead of losing a number of their own soldiers in the battlefields. Simple as that. Even today, Japanese won't blame then emperor for the consequences of that war. He is still untouchable for the people and they can't criticize him who clearly had responsibility for starting such a devastating war ending up with destruction of nation. It is quite laughable that Japanese think Hiroshima or Nagasaki is a symbol of world peace or anti-nuclear armaments movements. Those cities are just a symbol of failure of Japanese diplomacy at that time. If Japanese had surrendered earlier, they would have lost less territories and the use of nuclear bombs could have been avoided. G7 in Hiroshima is just exposing how the elites have been deceiving Japanese citizens for many decades without taking any responsibilities for unnecessary deaths of millions of innocent people. Ironically, they get together in Hiroshima and are doing the same thing. They are not talking about bringing peace to the world. They are talking about killing more and more people in Ukraine and Russia. Because Hiroshima is not a symbol of peace. It is a symbol of unnecessary sacrifice of innocent people by irresponsible elites. 